we take a closer look at what the banks are doing vis-a-vis uh, -vis market recapitalization and of course uh, the earnings and dividends they give to uh, shareholders um, recently, uh, taking a closer look, really Access Bank, which is Nigeria's largest bank by total assets, has declared a final dividend of 63.9 billion naira, despite facing a requirement to raise about 248 billion naira in fresh capital. Similarly, Zenith Bank, leading in profitability, plans to distribute 109.8 billion naira in dividends before addressing its capital need of 229 billion naira. My guest, Ambrose Omodio, is the Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consulting Limited. Ambrose is a well-respected investment and company analyst with over 20 years of experience. He is known for his work as an equities analyst, his training sessions for investors and his weekly webinars. He is also a prominent expert on the Nigerian capital market, providing analysis and insights to investors, the government and market regulators. Thanks for joining me this morning, Omodion. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, let's just dive into it. Banks require a whole lot in uh, this period now, ahead of the 24 months uh, time to recapitalize. And they just released their earnings and uh, about six banks are really doing well. But the question right now is how to find like a blend or how to balance uh, giving out dividends to shareholders and of course uh, getting enough capital for the CBN's requirement. How did they go about this balancing, really? No, actually, if you look at the, the guideline from the CBN, they pointed out that the retail earnings from these banks could not form part of the world, the capital formation, the mm -hmm. share cap formation of these banks. Automatically, all the retail earnings of these banks will find a way back to either to shareholders that are the owners of this company, or another way come back to the banks in another way. Because if banks have goals that have about almost uh, above where, uh, you know, some of them have about 8.8 .8 trillion, 1.4 trillion in their retail earnings, it shows that these banks are heavy and strong. And that is why when you mention that, you know, the numbers that keep on these banks are impressive, I would say yes, I concur with you because this number shows that the recent uh, government policy, especially monetary policy, is favoring the banks because we are seeing high interest rate in this domain and that has a work for in fact, if you look at the bank results, look at their interest, net interest income across all the banks see that these banks have done well and that also some of them that are a holding company also they are doing trading that also have reflected on their number despite the efforts in which CBN have a passage since September last year that will be part of what give them the payment which also from what they have paid this year see that these banks are, are very very strong because a bank has posted about 21 naira earning per share 17 naira earning per share I just paying uh, no two naira no uh, two naira 30 kobo three naira that no uh, 50 kobo one naira 80 kobo this big Kobo and two hundred seventy Kobo. It tells that these banks are heavy, and also they they work in the line with what we see being directed. And despite that, for me, I see this future of these banks are strong. The only thing that I feel that the bank can also can affect them more is that because they're going to enlarge their share in issue, magically mm. they will reduce their work, their earnings. That means this bank also also to double their effort unless to the future they can do more share reconstruction. But because uh, the CBI made declare that. Since the uh, retail earnings is not part of the capital formation from this, uh, for this uh, capitalization, I believe that the banks will invite their share, will, it will dilute their shareholders' uh, uh, um, position, like all those that are major shareholders before now, which I think their holding will be diluted, and at the same time, to dilute their, their earnings. But I feel that because anywhere, anytime, any day in the world, bank sector remains the engine of any economy, that means mm -hmm. this bank will survive for a year, because they are trying to drive one trillion economy. That means business, more business will come for this bank. And because they are organized, they are managed, you know, I believe that the banks will survive going to the future. For me, there's no cost for now. Only that investors that they are giving this dividend is an invitation to come and give us more. That's why they are giving out the dividend at this rate. So, invariably, you think it's actually um, like a tactic uh, by distributing. Uh, <laughs> Because, because it actually is showing that uh, they are, you know, very virile, they're very strong. So if they are giving out dividend, it means that they actually can do more and investors can actually play in exactly. that direction. Does it, is that what exactly. you were saying? Exactly. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying, that because the banks are doing well, 
and they are giving back to their, their owners because these banks are owned by you know, shareholders and they are paying them the robust mm -hmm. uh, dividend. It lands in the heart of what the, the heart of the investors and they know that these banks are well run. You've seen the bank's opposition, they've seen how for many for almost 10 years, 20 years, most of them have been consistent in the debt payment. And not only that they are doing their payout, it's a sign that these banks are well run. That means if you are giving more investment to them, that means the banks want to do more business. And for that, that is why the banks are rewarding their shareholders in a, in a way that, okay, yes, we are rewarding you, we bank fully all this year, now we need you again back to come and invest in us. It's just like that's what they are doing right. Right means that it is the only the the, the already existing shareholders that will bring back. And also, it, it may give them opportunity also to increase their stake. That means those that have good uh, percentage that want to take, they can get more and also take their own rights. For me, it's a good way of telling the shareholders well done for having confidence in us. And that's also to the uh, shareholders that if this one can you know, have run their business, they mind them, and improve their earnings all this way, that means if I get some more earnings into their, uh, more capital, sorry, into their, into their banks, they want to do more, better. And also because the other set of the economy will open where the mm. banks will be investing or going to the future. That also helps them to support their bottom line. That's why I said when you see the banks going to a holding company, I said that they are not going to robin job because they want to answer holding company. They are going to say that they can do other business apart from the business of banking. That's why you see that the banking itself or this bank or this holding company has their own uh, directors, has their own MD, and mm. why they are holding company mm. so if we have banks and other that's why they are not so they have insurance company, they have stock cooking plans, they have uh, no um, Microfinance, all these are just because to go for that business that in order to drive the economy. For me, it's a weapon development. Only that, like I said earlier, the, the this uh, uh, what we call this activities now, property market is going to dilute the earnings of this bank and also dilute the, the building structure of the bank. The good thing is that in the long run, we will good thing for both, for both investors and for both for the bank. But the bank have more capital. All right. To all right, today is April the 30th, uh, 2024, deadline given by the banks uh, or the CBN to banks to, you know, submit their recapitalization plans and strategies, you know, uh, I'm sure it expires today, but from reports that I read, uh, Nigeria's listed banking stocks value declined uh, by 2.06 trillion naira in 16-day uh, trading following the announcement of the recapitalization exercise by the CBN. In your opinion, how would you say the banking stocks are really doing in general terms? Yeah, like uh, the report is pointing out what has happened actually that there was a pullback in banking stock one, sort of for profit taking. Don't forget that the bank before now are selling below what they are selling now. But because of what we saw in the month of January and also people saw back you know, hitting almost a new high. You know, for me that people are taking what called profit from that uh, position. And it's not that the banks are you no know, are not the uh, strong again or the banks are sick, no, or the banks are going under no. If this is part of what you know market dynamics that when you are in profit, you take your profit. And also we say what call buy into value. As the banks are pulling back and also they are trying to do right issue at the same time. For public or public then investors are taking the, their profit to wait to see more directly from the bank and the CBN. Now that CBN are giving the bank you know, a deadline to give a deadline, a plan for this uh, two mm. years of capital, that is no that was also going to help investors in the market to plan because the more you see, we just mentioned what they also want to raise the you know, 220 billion, the 270 billion. We want to see are you going to do right and public offer? Are you going to do the venture? Uh, are you going to have a uh, you no know, private equity investing? These are the things that uh, you no know, investors are going to see because if you are doing you no know, kind of uh, private private equity coming in, you know that yes, you might not have much a uh, large share for that. Oh, you want to do right, but I mean, do that ask your country company also want to bring more money. Fine, we want to see the more they are going to do. That is why all eyes are still on that plan that CBN asked for. We want to help investors in the market to have a clear direction what the banks want to do as part in the bank. What the they bank want to do, what they want to do, what you want to do, what they want to do for FCMB. We need to understand that that will give investors a more clarification what to do. And also, with all the social the investors on their own because they are different investment objectives. They know which company or which bank, sorry, which bank that will meet their own, their own investment objective. Again, those that want to buy, those that are, you know, first tier banks for the for them, they want to buy the tier banks that are kind of, but uh, they are into what, first bank, uh, first tier banks that are moving from, so that also guide them what to do because I believe that the transaction is a plus for the economy, a plus for the bank sector, and a plus for investor. Only that the, the kind of uh, accessibility that the like just says in the since the announcement was made. Investor has to look like how it's going to look like. But once we start doing morality or kind of uh, a guideline or kind of uh, agenda for the banks, 
Donc, tout est bien ou à coup. Là, on dépose à professeur ou analyse et quelle direction on voit des pas. Pour voir, on est là, il y a trois des pas qui ont été capitalisés pour mettre pour ce que tu dois c'est bien. Pour I believe that nous passons avec ETI. Nous avons already à mon terrain de 350 billions already. Nous avons less than about less than 150 billions pour mettre des pas pour être billions d'accord par CPN. Pour donc pour que dans this bank has a good robust work they earn it. It's not because for taking away from what from the capital structure that should be a monster. If not, none of this bank will be going to the market to raise money. But it's good that yes, you need to lead toward to the regulators' uh, advice and all directives so that at the end of the day, they know why they say, come, don't add to your data because they said this profit is not stable. It can go up and down, which also will agree. Let's go forward and see their plan to guide us as investors or also analysts to know what to do exactly between now and the future. Okay, with all of this now, the banks are declaring massive dividends amid their capital base requirements and uh, the share prices of um, banks are declining in the past couple of days. Are you saying that um, there's no cause for alarm? Uh, what should investors be doing right now? Should they be investing in banking stocks? For me, the second thing is that uh, as I've seen a change, you know, what we call a changing trend in the market, or because they you know, change fundamental in the market, not only in banking stock. Yes, the banking store was they are trying to do transaction. Now that their prices are going down, like I, I advise most of my clients that yes, we take profit from these banking stores and wait to see what the price will be you know, when they start running really out their plan. Because for example, this time there will not be what we call a you no know, take that suspension on any of the banks that want to raise their or that want to raise money. I mean, for example, now banks like uh, you know, GTB or Zenith Bank, Zenith Bank said have almost at 31 naira, and tomorrow they announce that their right issue is going to come around 30 naira. No, it doesn't say that people prefer to buy the right issue that comes to the market. And for that, also, they, if today they should have, oh, the right issue is a uh, not that right naira, people now have to buy from the floor and leave with that right issue. It's not done on these banks to put out their strategy, that's why they are all looking at to know exactly what they want to do. It is not that the banks are bad, they come, they come in on their price has to reflect. You know, the confidence investors are saying that, yes, for now, we need to strategize. That's why we are seeing the price coming now. Yes, let me take my coffee and wait for them to see if it was a deadline, if you no, know, a direction where they are going. For me, there's no cause for alarm. Rather, you wait for what to them to roll out what they are, what they are planning. Say, I put your coffee, you just put your entire back because I tell you, the more this part are becoming bigger, the more you have to expect their world much higher dividend. Mm -hmm. so, yes, it might be a little slow now after the after the transaction. But once it's having business, I tell you that our banks in Nigeria have been so resilient for a long time. Even when we have you no know, uh, to uh, work for a uh, meltdown in 2007, 2008, 2009, the banks took their ground, see their performance, and that number has been on the up, up direction since then. Say that our banks are really good. Yes, some banks in the US, in America, so the US, in England, which have coming down, but our banks have you know, remained uh, strong because of what the nature of uh, a manager here and so the understanding they have for what the financial sector. I feel that the CBN has come over to make them more stronger for them to drive the economic uh, activity of the economy. But I think you can't separate the bank from the economy. Okay, but let's uh, talk specifically now and, and talk about the big banks, uh, banks like um, Access Bank uh, with its very huge um, asset base and um, Zenith Bank that you have mentioned in passing. With all of this playing out now, do you, we have talked about this today, but let's just uh, maybe, uh, you know, reiterate as it is right now in terms of their capital, um, their share capital and all of that. Uh, so do you see them having issues actually reaching out to the public in terms of their recapitalization? Yeah, for me, no, I, I don't know, I don't see that having an issue because what is that if your investor, if everybody have confidence in what you are doing and they see potential and also value in the bank, they will easily bring that up because I tell you, as the, the whole structure is to be some people that are not in this bank want to come back to know this bank. That's why I say they are going to change the world in putting structure. And this is the opportunity for them to come in. Those that are outside before, they have no opportunity to hold any bank here or to be either a director or to be one of the major you know, investors, either individual or corporate. This is the opportunity for them to invest. That's why I say they won't have issues because we are seeing where they are coming from and where they are going. You mentioned assets. Assets for me, you know, is the bank that before now was seen as acquiring you no know, kind of building and capacity mm. or this one. Mm. And when we are building capacity, they tell that you come that will be for me. And yeah, they are, they, are, they are even investing outside the shop in Nigeria. They, are, they have direction, they know what to achieve. We saw how no PBA you know, expanding outside Nigeria of uh, no environment to other you no know, Africa countries you know, also reflecting their earnings. And Zine Bank has become a holding company with the with the cut order just recently. That is that also they, they are moving already and don't feel like Zine Bank 
in terms of profitability in Nigeria, it's a little bit for straight seven years. So that this bank, you understand the banking, you no, know, they are doing. For me, going on that business again, I feel that it will bring that same experience to other business. That also help them. So as I said, bank going to capital is a big you know, benefit for them. So they have, have which capital to do other business that they want to do apart from the business of banking, you no, know, renting and all that. They can do other business with other work, other companies under their stuff. So that for me, I believe that this is a good way to go. Look at also the life of agility. No credit, we have seen that consistent here. Yeah. And similarly, have probably even emerged from even a first year bank, though not now in first year, but not already in second year. But in between, because I tell you that even uh, Stampic and uh, ETI, they are not in first year, they are not in second year. Also, it's like if um, they are not joining them again. Also, within the life of FCMB, FCMB is also, also preparing also to come up with their performance. I think that the fans yeah. are really preparing to work and also to work strong. Okay, before we round off now, um, Ambrose, let's talk about uh, uh, the figures uh, from yesterday's trading. It actually maintained its um, bare dominance at the start of trading for the week. Uh, let's just analyze uh, the high points and all of that. Uh, you know, market, ma the Osher index also closed lower. What do you project for, the, for today and, of course, uh, the rest of the week? Yeah, actually, you know, that's that the market for the month of April have been in that trend. It's a reflection of what changed the market fundamental. It's not only just yesterday, for the month of the market has been just in, re, in green for those two or three times, but have been in red. That's why the holidays that were also the month of uh, April. For me, it presents to the reverse what we saw in the month of, uh, of March. March. Okay. For me, I believe that the uh, pulling back is an opportunity for us to buy low because the matter is that buy low and stay high. And when market remains up, it becomes a problem. And when market remains in, in the downturn, it becomes a problem. But the market will oscillate. This up and down movement is the beauty of stock market anyway. That's why we call it the market dynamics. Now that we see market correction or pullback, it's a opportunity for people to buy into value. Like you just said, I believe that this week we're going to see a, a mixed market between now and Friday. I think that we're entering also another new month again in the second quarter of the year. And we're entering the new month of what we call sell in May and buy and buy in October. But in Nigeria history, sell in May, you know, for five years have been defined. We need to be defined. Also, we just that sell in May, it's time that you want to sell. But now that we're saying market is down for the month of uh, April, but can it be a sign that we might likely see another high May because in uh, March, where market was up down in, May, in April, mm -hmm. but that's not going to in May is very high because most of the companies that have dividend payments have the as qualification day in May. That means most of the shareholders who have more capital coming back to the sense of dividends who they need to block back to the market. That might change what the pace of the market in the month of uh, May. And also, don't forget that the government also be celebrating their one year in office in May. And it might be that they're going to see some policy. You know, you know, kind of structure and also new police permanent to boost the economy that also bring more confidence. Don't forget that the fourth mm -hmm. day the president mentioned that the service is to move and subsequently the the SMT market was unified. That brought confidence that some market rally for almost as many months, for more than six months. That confidence if that trend continues you know, from this uh, May celebration, I also might change also the business for me. In the opportunity of this pullback to buy to value and look for what every investment that gets the future. All right, we must say a very big thank you to you. Uh, Ambrose Moja is the Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consultant Limited. Many thanks for all of the insights that you have brought on the show today. Thanks for having me. Yep. All right, that's um, the size of the show for today. We must say a very big thank you to you for sitting by to watch Business Insight returns to your screen. Same time next time. Bye for now. I am Justin Akadonye.